Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town, where you can see over here I have set up a barn that is slowly, very slowly, stockpiling mana bricks. We're making them as often as we can, uh, when we can, and that is pretty much all the time as it happens since they're made one to one. That does mean that we're not funneling any more mana crystals down to the school, but that should be okay. We almost certainly have enough to finish our mana transmission uh, research. Now, mana transmission, much like uh, the steam uh, power, will increase the overall efficiency of our buildings. Now, I'm not sure if it'll affect things in the same way. Steam does seem to make a lot of sense in the sense that it is uh, funneling into buildings that have some sort of mechanical process. They don't really help if that isn't the case. Uh, however, someone very rightly pointed out that I did a bit of a silly and I did not, in fact, oops, that one's the flattened down. I did not, in fact, provide any water. There we go. Water is now being provided. Our overall production should be going up. Uh, let's make sure that we hook all of that in. Uh, that should all be hooked up. Yep, okay. Right, so if we have a look in here. Uh, hmm. Nothing is being provided through the network right now. Why? Would that be a uh, curiosity? Uh, perhaps the the grids cannot work like that. It's possible. Um, this really should be working. All right. Well, let's go ahead and just remove a pipe. There you go. Now, let's have a look if that has reset the production. Yes, there we are. Two hundred fifty percent network fulfillment. It's fine if we have a look at these areas. You're getting all the power you need. There we are, 100%. Now, let's actually hook that back up again and just see if that causes any issue. There we go. Let's have a look. There we are, 100% power. Perfect. Uh, the network fulfillment is 133%. We're using 750 of 1,000 units. Interesting. Very good. I approve. Now, we've got a couple more... Uh, houses that we can build, but that's something I actually want to address. I'm really not happy with having to um, hodgepodge our way through having this on a stack. Now, what I would very much like to do is relocate our entire housing district somewhere else. Now, I would like something nice and flat for this. We've got a couple of nice uh, flat areas. Ooh, up here is particularly nice, I will say. Um, maybe that, in fact, is one of the better locations we could go for. So, sure, let's just go ahead on a wild purchasing spree and purchase all the way over there. There we go. Now, this is way, 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 way far away from anything we're currently uh, doing. And it'll hurt a little bit to get rid of all of this lovely stuff there, but it will look kind of cool to have all of that far away from the main sort of uh, industrial areas. Uh, that being said, if they, uh, no, there's quite a lot of stuff here that I wouldn't want to get rid of either. That being said, that being said, all we need is an area that's flat. It looks like for the most part, we really don't need to worry about materials. We have got so much. So we could place it anywhere. We could, we could merrily demolish everything we have here. And in fact, as far as things go, although that is natural sugar, we are now producing sugar, so we don't strictly need it. Um, sure, I think we're going to delete the barn. Uh, we're also going to delete you. Sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. It sucks, but that is life. Uh, right, so I'm not. this is going to be a long-term project, I think, to completely relocate all of our houses. It's not something I'm going to do entirely off camera, simply because I think the design of our new housing area is going to be kind of fun to, to play around with and, and, and puzzle over. So that's something I want to do on camera. But certainly, oh wow, I really need a rectangle tool for this. Uh, but certainly uh, it'll be something that we're not going to try and do all in one go. Uh, in this episode, I am primarily interested in getting magic up and running, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, but in and around waiting for that to happen, and also further upgrading our base, I think it would be pretty cool to get a little bit of work done over here. That's, uh, that gives us a decent little area, I think. We are going to need to lower it down, though, so flatten terrain down to its lowest point. We'll grab around here. Again, a, a rectangle tool would be so amazing for things like this. 
Let's give a nice old cliff face around here. We'll uh, carve it out into a bit of a square. To start with, we'll go around some of the resources. Uh, just because uh, my brain will hurt a little bit if I don't. Uh, there we go. We don't want it to be completely un uh, unnatural looking. Let's uh, continue to pull this down a little bit. There we go. Let's pull that all the way over here to the water's edge. And there uh, we can leave it for now. We're going to want to pop down the main buildings uh, for research. Now, it's been a while since we unlocked any further buildings with this. So I'm strongly suspecting that when we upgrade, we've already more or less got all of the, the main research items. Let's have a quick look through. Are there any buildings? The Enchanter is possibly a market building. Uh, elemental Refinery doesn't sound like one. Uh, let's have a look through. Mana Reactor, that doesn't sound like one. All these shrines. From what I understand, late game in this, you do discover a means to basically restore uh, certain um, resources. The game doesn't seem to ever end up in a place where you're just flatly going to run out of resource. The fish replenish themselves over time, as long as you don't completely fish uh, a, an area dry. Uh, forests, you can replant. Farms, you can replant. It's the minerals that initially seem like a bit of a problem, but even those, from what I can understand, you can put back. But it looks like we're going to have, in total, we've got the general store, the apothecary, the speciality goods store, and we've got the food market. It does seem like we're going to have five separate marketplaces. Okay. Well, that is definitely something that we can work with. We can build around the idea of having an enchanter. Uh, let's let's start off with having... Right, if we pop you there... Ooh, that is perfect. You're going to be the central building. Everything is going to need to go around this. So the food market, we can have then the general store. Uh, we can even have that somewhere like... Uh, let's pop you there. Mm, let's see. If we had it around here... Yes, this, this would make five work quite well. I do need it something like this. So that's the general store. We want the apothecary. We want the speciality goods. Now, we only care about the, the food building because that one is at the very center. Everything has to fall within range of food. So we've got food, general store, apothecary, speciality goods. Eventually, we'll have the enchanter, and that will take... The final spot just to the side. Now, what you might be wondering, well, how am I going to set all of this up? Now, we can do that in two ways. We can have uh, a little loop like that. It would hit everything. But I kind of like the idea of having... Well, if we had the loop, then we'd have a dedicated way out. So things could just come all the way in and then go all the way back out again. And that would work. Sure. Okay. That, that does its job. I could have something across there. And there's a part of me that likes the idea of it. I'll be honest, uh, but instead we're going to just plot down a little bit of a little bit of a path around our road. I don't want my my people walking on the tracks. Come on now, their safety is very important to me. There we go. That'll look lovely, and we'll have the final store just over there. In fact, actually thinking about that, I'm going to need to leave a space right here. So there we go. Now these buildings never need to have anything delivered to them. So. All we want is... Well, that one's already got something going in. We can have... Um, that one's going there. Want this one going that way. That one going in there. We don't need that one there. Um, it does hurt a little bit. I'm going to be honest. Let's, uh, let's make this a little bit better. And... Put that one going out that way. That doesn't need to be an offload, but I'm just leaving it there for now. Just so that I know what's going on. If it's delivering to this side, it'll always deliver there. It, it does, if you look at it, if you kind of squint, it makes sense. Right. <laughs> Trust me, it is symmetrical in a non-symmetrical way. You're always delivering on the, the to the left, you're delivering on the first aisle. To the right, you're always delivering on the last aisle. Shh, it's fine. It makes sense in my head. Right, let's have a look at our research. How are we doing over there? We're almost there on mana transmission. Excellent. Now, we do have a couple of extra houses we can place down. So we can go ahead and start putting those down right now, actually. Uh, how are we going to place these? 
hopefully with this much room we should be able to place quite a few but i would still like to have little roads going throughout i'm not a big fan of making this look all uh too samey let's say uh we'll have cobble streets going up and around we could have a little place down here maybe we'd have a little alleyway there yeah i like that i like that a lot uh, we'll pop that one down as a regular path. We'll decorate the the, the living space as, as much as we can, where we can. If we look at decorations, we've actually got quite a few things that we can do there. So we can have little squares and such. Uh, and I think that, that would be lovely, honestly. I really, really would like to start exploring making this place especially pretty as we move forward. Now then, how are things going over here? We're going to run out of coal for this kitchen eventually, and that is going to be a bit of a potch. Now, one of the things we could do is start delivering the cakes all the way over there, and that isn't a bad idea in and of itself. Uh, honestly, there's lots of lots of things that we can do here to to help this place out. Quite, quite a few people have done this. Well, why am I why have I got such a convoluted path for my grain? It's just so that uh, that there's no there's no wastage in in time more than anything. I wasted materials early on so that the if it is possible for for grain to move, if grain is being used up asymmetrically, then the overflow will find its way to wherever it's needed. Now the the thing here is that. As time went on and I finished fleshing out the build-up completely, I stopped using grain asymmetrically. If you're wondering what I mean by that, is that uh, things being used on this side are being used basically at the same pace that things are being used on this side. So really, I don't need any grain from this side to be able to make its way over there. It should be being used in exactly the same pace on either side. If for some reason this kitchen perhaps had less workers, then my grain would be being used asymmetrically. And then it makes sense that uh, this side, which is not gonna be using up its grain quite as fast, should be able to have a convenient way to get its grain wherever it might need to go um, to uh, bolster the production over here, which is using it up a little bit faster, so on and so forth. But uh, it was it was an unnecessary detail to add in by the time that I'd finished uh, building it all up. How many bricks have we got? Ooh, we have enough. Marvelous. Yes, upgrade. Max house increased by 10? Is that the last one? No, no it is not. We can get a lot more. Wow. We need 120 happiness. Um, we need crowns. And we need ne necklaces. All right. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I'm going to be honest, guys. Uh, I think uh, I think you, you may be waiting a little while for that. But, you know, it, it's a cool idea. All the same. Now let's pop down a couple of these houses for now. Uh, let's get all of these in there. There we go. Wow, that is a lot of houses. I was not expecting it to be quite as generous as this. But that is cool. That is going to give us a lot more room to play. Oh! Okay. New building unlocked, the mana transmitter. New building unlocked, the mana receiver. Mana pipes. Um, oh, that's a new recipe, sorry. New research available, mana power. Mana crystals can be sent long distance via ethereal mana pipes. A mana transmitter will send them into a pipe network and a mana receiver to return uh, to return piped items back to their physical form. Okay, so I can just move your mana crystals where I need to go. That makes sense. Uh, but what we want to learn is what we can do with these things. So let's jump into research once again. Uh, mana power is the next available research. Let's have a look at you then. And that once again, oh, that's going to need a lot. Okay, but it is unfortunately a requisite to pretty much everything. So many things. Oh, actually, yeah. Elemental extraction will unlock all of the purification, and then when I've got all of the purifications, I can get the final tech, which is the mana reactor itself. Okay, well, mana power. Let's go ahead and begin researching that. Now, where exactly does one make these marvelous mana pipes? There we go. So we need steam pipes, and that gives us a mana pipe. All right, but we don't currently have a function, a use for for mana yet. So we are probably wise to just, just wait on that one for now. Uh, what we could do here is get a separate mana forge. Hmm. 
Yes, because we're we're clearly pulling in the mana crystals faster than we're we're making use of them. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and mana crystals are going to be a massive resource that we need a lot of. It seems. So let's go ahead and build this up a little bit. Flatten up, please. I would like this to be a nice three by three that I can funnel straight into here. There we go. That'll do. Right. So let's pop down another mana forge building. Uh, right there we are. Where are you, Mana Forge? Must be all the way down here. There's the Mana Receiver. Okay, so these do require Mana Bricks, so it's just as well that we are producing them. Uh, we'll pop you over there. We'll be fine. There we go. I'm going to have you just make Mana Crystals. That is the only thing I want here. I want as many people who can work on it as possible. And I would like this to feed in. There we are. That should start feeding in right now, and then we will deliver the crystals themselves out. Uh, we're going to need some extra fuel as well. Um, let's see, could I just bring this straight across? I think I can. That is incredibly convenient. Ah, oh, I love this system. I do, truly. Uh, we're going to need to bring it up a little bit, but that should be fine. And then we'll just have archways connecting it all the way over there. There we go. Mind you, we do actually go through the fuel reasonably fast, so... There we are. Is that going to start working? Yes. Let's uh, pop down a splitter, just to make sure that we've actually got it fairly distributed. There we are. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. So we are going to start having mana crystals delivered. We've got plenty of people working on it. Excellent times are these, in fact. Now, I would like a steam connection right there, and then hook this up as well. Any buildings that I have not yet connected to steam power that can be connected to steam power? I don't believe so. No, we're good. We are good. Everything has been connected that can be connected. We are, in fact, very good. Oh, what did I just do? I think I placed something down. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, oh, well. But that, there we go. So that's all hooked up now. We should be seeing a decent amount of uh, fuel being delivered. Now your... Ooh, these trees are growing and they grow slowly. I think it may in fact be time for us to upgrade you. We're currently working at 435% normal speed. And normal speed was two seconds. So yeah, okay. It's time for us to pop down some planters. It is time. Well, let's go ahead and do that. We probably shouldn't put them in the water. There we go. And all over the place. Tree planters are fantastic because they can go more or less anywhere you want them to. With very few exceptions. And we just want regular trees. So, just regular trees, please. There we go. Let's get this whole area up to snuff because we are going to be using that power. Uh, that fuel, rather, very, very quickly. With that many trees, hopefully we'll have enough. At some later stage, we may need to change it up, but uh, for the most part, I'm hopeful that this will work okay. This one is using a little bit more power than the other, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see as time goes on. Right, so with that taken care of, let's have a look back over here. We've still got many, many houses to place down. Many, many, many houses. So let's uh, continue working on setting this place up and making it look pretty nice. I think that would be a rather good plan. Um, you know what? I kind of... Yeah, I, I like the idea of having this go up and over. I'm going to be honest. Let me uh, rotate the camera down so I can actually see the angle of rotation a little bit better. Yeah, I, I do like this. So let's get this all the way up um, but 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 what we're doing here is not actually what we need to do we want half stairs there we go because this is for our pedestrians this is for our civilians who live here not oh do we have stone stairs we do not a wooden bridge block we're gonna provide easy footpath navigation across a river or chasm no that's fine we're gonna want some wooden pillars that'll do uh, something like that sure uh, we're going to want, I guess, just a regular scaffold block, and then we'll put a path on it. Actually, we don't want the uh, second 
Oh, there, there we go. It's nice that in some cases we can use a um, the right click to do, to remove something. It's actually quite useful. All right, let's pop the scaffolding where we're going to need it. So we're going to want those there. We're going to want the wooden pillars here and here. Then we're going to want the stairs. And it'll look lovely when it's done, I think. It'll look quite, quite pretty. There we go. And yes, this is the point now where I've gotten the, the production side of the game reasonably good. And I'm fairly confident in setting this up now. Ah, ha, ha. I just realized one thing, though. We did a silly. Let's get rid of that. I need that to be a, uh, a uh, arch to allow our vehicles through. That being said, I wonder, can do wooden poles work with arches? Oh, they do. Well, well, well. Oh, that's going to hurt my brain now, knowing that I haven't done that properly all the other places. I'll fix that off camera at some point. It's fine. It's fine. Know that it will be fine when when it's done. Shh, it's fine. Uh, right, so there, that is all taken care of. We're not going to need anything in here. So that means this is a prime lo location. We could have a house there, but why? Why would we put a house there? I don't think that would make sense. Instead, I'm going to just cover that in. So we're going to put down some, uh, some decor items. We've got some flowers, some flower pots, some potted flowers. We don't have any kind of... Um, Central item, we've got polished stone. Stone benches. That would actually be kind of lovely. Um, oh, actually, yeah, these. These for the, the carts as they roll past. I like it. Yes. Uh, but we want maybe a central bank of flowers. No, it doesn't really look right. Potted flower in the middle there. Yeah, with some benches around it, I guess. How they get over here, we don't know. We're probably not going to ask questions. Um, maybe a couple of people would want to sit and watch the, the trains go past. Uh, I think we're going to leave it at that, though. Uh, is there anything else that I can put in there? Well, uh, pots, maybe? In fact, uh, actually, yeah, I kind of like this. Like, we can, we can imagine there is a station master. Ye olde station master, the kind that you used to get in Britain a long time ago. Who would actually live at the station, and, and they take great pride in, in how beautiful their station was. They'd compete in contests to have it, have uh, their, their flower arrangements judged, etc, etc. Very, very quintessential British sort of thing. Uh, yes, I like that. We'll keep it like that. Right, let's start putting down some more houses, though. That's enough faffing around. Uh, we'll have a little house just looking out onto that area there, so that'll be another enchanter house. Um, we could have some houses literally right up against the railway, but let's not do that. Instead, I would like to allow some room for the, the houses to watch the railway over here. I think that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have a little path going up there. Now! We've only used some of the houses. We've got a lot of houses we've got to transplant over here. Oof. That is going to be a bit of a potch. Because this is not going to get... Well, no. We should have enough room. I'm really hopeful we've got enough room. I may need to get very creative in how we, we space our buildings. I may not be able to accommodate these buildings having quite as much room there. That will be a bit of a, bit of a sadness, I'm going to be honest. But one thing we can do to try and... Um, mitigate that a little bit as we can have the rails uh, let's actually get rid of these we can have the rails just tuck in a bit so something like this just so they use a little bit less room there we go now again one will we're going to want to tell this the way that the, these are going to go so I'm going to pop down one way indicators just so I know for the future. Right, as for further de uh, decorations, um, a fence. Yeah, kind of like it. Sort of like it, except that kind of takes away the space that I was just making there, and what's the point of me making the space if I'm going to fill it with fences? I mean, you know, there's a little part. There, there is a point, but for now, let's look at some other things. So we'll pop down 
some flowers leading over here. That's lovely. Uh, I would like uh, maybe a little torch. Sure, I like that. And then we'll go back to the footpath then. Can I put the footpath underneath? No, I can't, but that's fine. That's fine, I accept. It is okay. Oh, look at that. This this little area is looking fantastic. I haven't even upgraded any houses, and they're not getting any food or anything. They, they, they're hungry, hungry in body, but satiated in soul. Ah, wonderful. You can live on prettiness, I'm sure of it. I uh, don't, I'm not a medical professional or a dietitian. Don't, don't, don't suddenly start, you know, trying to starve yourself of food and, and just glutting on art. Don't eat art. It's not good. Not a grammaton cleric. Uh, right. So, over here, let's have a quick look. Uh, we're going down a little bit. Man, this is going to take a long time to get done. We are using these books up at a startlingly swift pace. That is a problem. Um, well, we want the mill to have more workers, frankly, so that we can get that rolling a little bit faster. This still takes five seconds whenever it's made. Okay. That is that is rough. That's three books. An enchanted book would do a lot better. What does what is required to make an enchanted book? Um, that would probably be. Wait, <gasps> is the enchanter perhaps? Wait, wait, wait. You know what we could do? If we have a look through all of these items, we can set, see. Does it tell me where they're sellable from? No, it does not. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. But, I'm wondering if the Enchanter is not merely produced by the Enchanter. Aha! So it isn't. We don't need a, a fifth item. Well, that has kind of thrown things out a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. I was trying to plan ahead, damn it. We'll do this instead, then. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, that should work. We can we can have a couple of well, we could have two houses stuck in here, but I don't necessarily think that I want to. Uh, but I am now possessed of a fairly strong urge to make uh, a way down here so that people can come over here and then they have a reason to be in this little park area. Yeah, I think it'll it'll be quite lovely. Uh, dropping off there, dropping off there, dropping off there. Ugh, ugh, that hurts a little bit. Having, if I realized I was only going to be dealing with four, I would have built this railway in a very, very different way. Well, because I could cluster all four of them much closer together. Still, um, by and large, we're going to hit everything that we need. You're the only one that might not. So we could move the specialty goods into the center. Um, or bring this, this path much closer together. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, you sell pretty much everything we need. Okay, so slight, ever so slight change of plan, everyone. Yeah, change of plan. Okay, welcome back to what I think is a little bit of a better design that should hopefully serve us much, much better in the future. There we go. It even looks better where we've got all the railway stops. So, it, you know, in the end, it all comes comes together. Uh, this should allow us to fit quite a few buildings in. We've got a lot of space here, and all of the buildings that we previously had are in a much smaller space. It doesn't look as good yet, but give me time. It will look glorious. I promise. We do want uh, a lamp there, though, for, for the incoming cart. Not that anyone is riding them, but, you know, I think it would just be nice. There we go. So this is the rough, um, the perimeter of our, our shops. If we have a look there, if you, that, that railway there is where it's going to need to turn off. Likewise, on this side, that's where it's going to need to turn off. So let's, uh, let's make this a little bit more obvious. There we go. And on that spot as well. So there we are. The, the carts will come through dropping off all of their, their goods and then satisfying all of the houses that are going to build up around this residential district. Oh, it's going to be truly, truly beautiful. Obviously, I did cut that out because you'd already seen me build it once, and due to my own derpitude, I wasn't going to punish you by having to watch me do it again. Uh, right, how are we doing over here? Well, actually, doing okay. 
Now that we've added all of these extra trees, we seem to be pulling out all of the uh, necessary logs. Nice and indeed fast. Our base is looking pretty bloody good. I am not sure how long that's going to take, but wow, that will take a while. Now, one other thing I have been told, and that is it should be possible to move the fertilizer along the river. Now, I had tried previously. That's going to be the last thing that we do in this episode, I think. Uh, it has ended up taking a little while to record because of my silly mistake. I do apologize. Uh, but let's, let's see if that is the case. Now, I did try this previously, and it didn't work. But perhaps I gave up a little bit too quickly. So, instead, we're going to pop down a, a silo. We are then going to... I'm fairly certain the fertilizer is going to require a belt. That's fine. Let's get a conveyor belt heading over there. But you know what? Let's let's make this a little bit better. So we're going to put a um, a uh, wow. What's the word? Ah, where's wooden pillar? I was thinking about it. I'm like, no, this is this is not the archway. Th this is the thing I'm now going to be building instead of an archway. But it is not. In fact, the archway. Not yet. Anyway. Uh, right, let's get the ramps going down. Uh, there we go. And then we should be able to just pop down some cloth conveyors. We could go for metal conveyors. Mm. Why is our metal conveyor production not happening? Oh, no. Mm. I have not made metal conveyors. Well, that is possibly something that we need to work on then. Let's get metal conveyors up and running. I was certain that I had already done this. Uh, perhaps maybe I loaded a save incorrectly while I was grabbing a screenshot or something. Either way, uh, let's make this. Uh, shouldn't take us too much effort. What is required for this one? Metal conveyors just require cloth conveyors to be delivered. Okay, well, it shouldn't be in and of itself too hard. Uh, actually, hmm. mm -mm -mm. you know what? This is another opportunity for us to test out this idea. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm in for this. Let's pop this down. I'm going to want a cart, a wagon, to deliver cloth conveyors. So I want you to grab cloth conveyors and stockpile them over there. Next, I would like a, a fishing boat. Now it says a fishing boat. Now someone has told me that this should be able to grab them and deliver them. Can I? Will it? It's saying no. Ah, can I... No, you see, this is why the boat itself cannot take these items. That's what I thought was the case. Maybe later on there are better boats for this? It's possible, certainly. Um, okay. Let me just have a quick look through the workers list again. Maybe I'm missing something. No, it's just a fishing boat. Okay. Much sadness, but uh, it's it's livable. Uh, what we're going to want then is to bring over the items here instead. So let's go back to paths. Uh, actually, no structures. We'll get a stone bridge, and we'll just build this out all the way across. Let's first adjust this terrain, though. Pull you down nice and low. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now that's going to be a little bit of a problem, but I think we can make it work with uh, just regular scaffolding. I build that there, for example. And I should be able to bring the ramps down to meet the bridge that we're building. There we go. And that should, in fact... Now, I was told that the, the stone bridge counts as, well, stone. Uh, so, you know, it makes sense, really. Uh, let's bring the conveyors over there, please. Thank you. And, uh, For the time being, I'm going to make another one just purely to move all of that across as well. I'm going to do it. Grab all of that and move it. There we go. Eventually, we'll have to get rid of that one. But we'll start making the metal conveyors now. Now, I want to make these available... How I'm going to do that, though, is going to be a little bit more of a potch, frankly. Um, well, actually, one thing we could do is we could pop a barn, perhaps over here, like so. 
and maybe just draw out the conveyors. I mean, we're going to want a lot of these, so it makes sense to do that. There we go. We want this one to be only metal conveyors. And then pop down our cloth conveyors to pull them out. Will that work? There we go. Perfect. There we are. Metal conveyors being delivered right now. Excellent. In fact, I'm I'm fairly, fairly happy with that one. But it does mean that we can't make this work. And I am a little bit sad about that. When when someone mentioned in the comments that it was possible and I'd just gotten it wrong the first time, I was genuinely quite, quite happy with that news. Alas. Alas. The the letdown is 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 quite quite severe. But I'll live. Barely, but I'll live. Anyhow. And we'll just hook this up with the road as well. Just so there's a pass point on my cart so they don't get stuck on this uh, but actually what we should do is much the same way use a, a one-way only system there we are ideally they shouldn't have to worry about that from now on there we go what had you already chosen a path i mean i'll allow it if you'd already decided you're pathing but otherwise i'm going to be quite vexed i need to watch something happen here there we go that's correct where are you going why have you stopped? You've been very confused. What on earth did you do? What? 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 I don't know, but that's fine. Over here, we're probably going to need to do exactly the same, though, aren't we? Yeah, since we've got two temporarily making this trip, uh, we're going to need to sort this out a little bit as well. There we go. And that should work for me. We'll just get uh, some scaffolding up. There we go. And then we can add in some roads later on. Okay, well, I'm fairly happy with what we've achieved in today's episode. Although, a little bit sad about the uh, the, the fishing boat issue. But I'm sure I'll, I'll recover. There we are, though. We are now producing some metal conveyors, which are a lot faster than the cloth conveyors. Uh, I can demonstrate that. Let's find somewhere where it would actually make a difference in some capacity. Um, we don't actually use conveyors over much in many places. Uh, I guess I could use it over here, though. Sure. We'll replace this with some cloth. Uh, sorry, some metal conveyors. In fact, we're probably, at this point, going to stop using uh, regular cloth conveyors from that, that point onwards. So there you go. There, there's the, the comparison in these coming out there quite a lot faster we will over time we'll replace some of the conveyors we don't need many of the conveyors to be replaced though uh overall uh we've actually made a decent amount of progress towards mana power oh that's fantastic we'll have the recharger the enchanter the mana connector magic cloak magic robe and elemental extraction will be unlocked that will actually be pretty cool but that's gonna have to wait for the next episode i had hoped to get a little bit further in the magic tree but it is gonna take some time uh building the enchanter and getting enchanted books is probably gonna be well worth the effort involved in doing it so i'm probably gonna be looking at that in the next episode as well as continuing to expand our housing area over here and i know right now they don't have any food we will sort that out as well. We've got enough people right now to start setting up some proper dedicated food production. Um, I would like to redesign this area. I think it is hopelessly inefficient. And I imagine this area could, could do without. Uh, but we'll probably find a nice flat area, possibly even over here, to set up a proper little grain uh, production, purely making bread. We, we want to, to take care of all of the categories if we can so starting with grain so realistically probably going to want to go for bread because sandwiches it's going to take a lot more to make let's actually have a quick gander at what would be involved in making a sandwich though just so that we know uh, where are we sandwiches probably down there there we go so we would need cheese and cooked chicken that's a lot just for one grain item but it would keep them going for a long while might not be a bad move to have a little area dedicated to the production of sandwiches and that would that would purely satisfy one type 
of uh, of product. If we have overflow, then we can also send some of the cooked chicken to cover the meat as well, and maybe some of the cheese to cover dairy. Now, that might not be a bad idea. We'd cover three of the of the main uh, of the food groups in Wondell Industry. We'll have a look into that in the next episode, though. But I really do hope you've enjoyed this one and will be joining me for the next. As ever, leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't already. But until next time, do take care, everyone.